You know that moment when everything is calm and quiet and then <laughs> your whole body jolts like a toaster popping? Yep, hiccup strike again. Today's excellent question comes from Eleanor in Sydney who wants to know, why do we hiccup? It all starts with a large flat muscle under your lungs called your diaphragm. When it moves down, it makes space in your chest and you breathe in. And when it relaxes and moves back up, you breathe out. A hiccup happens when the diaphragm suddenly twitches and that makes you suck in air super fast and your vocal cords snap shut, creating that famous <laughs> sound. So what is it that causes that twitch? Well, all sorts of things can set it off. Eating too quickly, drinking fizzy drinks, laughing really hard, being startled, or even a sudden temperature change. A very sensitive nerve called the vagus nerve runs from your brain down to your belly, and when it gets irritated, your diaphragm can spasm. Fun fact, babies hiccup before they're even born. Scientists think that it helps them practice the breathing movements that they're going to use after birth. Our hiccups could be a throwback to that. And some researchers think that hiccups might even be a leftover ancient reflex from early animals who had to coordinate breathing with swallowing in different ways. Get this, tadpoles, they're in the water and they breathe with gills. As they become frogs and move to land, they switch to using lungs to breathe in air. When they're little, they use a reflex that's super similar to a hiccup to push water across their gills instead of it going into their lungs. Amazing. So, is there a cure? People have tried everything, holding your breath, getting someone to scare you, eating a spoonful of sugar, hanging upside down, sipping water and simultaneously singing happy birthday. The truth is that there is no guaranteed fix. And yes, there is a Guinness World Record for hiccups. Charles Osborne hiccuped for an exhausting 68 years. <gasps> Thankfully, that's extremely rare. Most hiccups simply go away on their own after a few minutes or even a few hours, and doctors usually only worry if they go for more than two days. Have you got a science question that you're dying to ask? Pop it in the comments and like and subscribe while you're there so you never miss a thing.